Okay, so this is the tutorial for setting up the Disk Verifier Parted Magic module with Parted Magic and how to use it. So first off, as you can see here, we'll need some stuff. So we need the Disk Verifier um, Parted Magic module and we need Parted Magic itself. You have to buy these things. I'll provide links for that in the, um, in the description. So, um, first we'll need a USB stick, which I will plug in now. So this is the USB stick we're using. I'll show you how to do this with DVD as well, but first off we'll show you USB. Um, so we don't need that open, but we do need something called unit booting, which I will open now. Okay, so this is unit booting. If you're running macOS, you could use disk utility to do this, I believe. Um, and if you're running Windows, you could use something called Rufus, but there are loads and loads of tools that can do this for you. I believe Unit Bootin might run on Windows and Mac OS as well. I will now, so I need to select the ISO file, so I will do that. Okay, so that's part of Magic selected, and I need to check that this is the right drive, because if it's not, then I could lose data. So I'm just going to open GNOME Disks. Here we go. You can see it's slash dev slash sde1, that's the right drive. So then you can hit OK and it will start writing the data. I'm going to speed this up for you though. OK, now we're installing the beat loader. This doesn't take very long if I remember right. It might pop up and ask me, here we go, whether I should overwrite files. And I recall you should just press yes to all. OK, so we're done. Mostly. So what we have is a parted magic live USB now, but we don't have disk verifier on it. So what we need to do is open it, open another window, head to pmagic, pmodules, and then copy this and paste it in there. And that is it. So this is now ready to use. So you can eject it and remove it. And you can boot, and um, uh, you can boot your computer off it now, and this verifier should be ready to use. But before we jump in and demonstrate it, I'm going to instead show you how to do the same thing here, but with a DVD or a CD instead. Okay, so now we are going to remaster the ISO so that we can have a CD or a DVD with the disk verifier module on. Although, do note that this is over 700 megabytes, the current version of Parted Magic at the time of writing, so you probably have to use a DVD. And you should also note that if you go to partedmagic.com slash adding dash programs, um, and there's a link for that in the video description and in the blog post, um, you will find these instructions there as well, for both USB and DVD. Um, but without further ado, this is you probably only can do this on a Linux or Mac OS system because you have to use the command line. So I'm going to make a temporary directory. And what I have to do is mount this ISO and then copy the files from it into the temporary directory. So I can do this by doing... Oops. So that's the name of the ISO. And I want to mount it to... I haven't made that file yet, that folder, and I need to do this as super user. Okay, that's done. So now what I need to do is copy everything from that temporary directory. And this is the contents of the parted magic ISO. I need to copy all of that to here, which shouldn't take very long. There we go. So now I can unmount that as root. Okay, that's done. And if we go in here, then we should have a bunch of files. So now what we need to do is kind of the same as what we did before. So you need to copy this part of magic module and stick it in pmagic, pmodules. But I can't because I don't have permission. So we'll fix that quickly. Uh, here we go. So I'm just going to change me to be the owner of everything here. And now, should be able to um yeah 
Yeah. Okay. I need to give myself write permissions as well. Okay. Now we should be good, I think. Yep. Okay. So the module's in there now. But now we have the problem of making this back into an image that we can burn to a CD or a DVD. In which case, all we need to do, I believe, is run... Yeah, need to run it with bash. Ah, okay. Okay, so I'm not going to edit that bit out because that highlights something, which is that this folder here can't have a space in it, and neither can any of the others leading up to this. So I need to head back in here and try it again, and now it will work. It will create our ISO image, which is here, and it's called the same thing as before, but it has a T on the end of it. And it's a little bit bigger, but not very much, because this is only a 44 kilobyte file. So what we have there, we can now boot um, an operate, we can now boot a computer with and use the module, which is what I'm going to show you next. Okay, so here we are with the Disk Verifier part of Magic tutorial. So what we'll be doing is secure erasing an SSD from part of Magic on my laptop. So I'm just going to boot the laptop up now. This time we're using a video capture device and the HDMI output from the laptop, which will mean it will be a minute before you see anything or any output from the laptop at least. Because it doesn't do anything until part of the magic starts to boot up. Come on, give me the boot menu. Okay, so I was just pressing F12 to bring the boot menu up, and now we're picking the optical drive. And now we will boot a live 64-bit. Okay, now it's loading the kernel. Okay, it's beginning to boot up now. Uh, so the secure arrays won't take very long in this case because it's really quick with SSDs. If you had a hard drive it would be exactly the same except the secure arrays might take a few hours instead of a few minutes. Um, okay, so we're now completing a device setup so you should start seeing something in a second. You can see it loading part of magic now. Just verify my job. Which for some reason takes a while. And you can see the usual warning where it says package has not been created with make package. But that's nothing to worry about. Okay, we can see a mouse now, so we know it's getting pretty close. Alright, so I'm going to ignore the time zone box for this one time. Okay, I don't care about the Wi-Fi networks. Alright, so mouse over to the primary desktop and double click erase disk. And I'll now move the window over so you can see it. So we want secure arrays ATA devices. Or if you got an NVMe drive, you'd hit this one. But we've got an ATA drive. But we'll now look for drives and pop up. Okay, so that's the right drive. It is an 860 EVO 250 gig. So we'll take that one. And we want to use disk verifier to verify. And we're going to do 10% so it doesn't take too long. I'll also turn the beep on. You can do the enhanced secure arrays as well if you want. 
um, but for the purpose of this video we will use the secure arrays the normal one so we'll hit continue which means it has to spin the disk up again okay right so I'll tell you how long it thinks it will take which in this case is four minutes so I'll tick the box here saying I allow this utility to erase the drives and then hit start phrase you don't want to be on battery power while doing this by the way just so you know okay so it's already secure erased the drive that's how quick it is with SSDs so now disk verifier will open and I'll need to move it over to the other screen here we go and it's now verifying the disk and it comes up as unknown Samsung SSD 860 which is enough information to tell you what it is which is good so the first thing you might realize here is that it's only verifying at about 40 megabytes per second that's not the program's fault that's not my laptop's fault because the processor in it is very slow on anything else it would be considerably quicker than this so just so you don't have to wait for this to finish and watch a video of nothing happening I will skip to near the end for you now okay so we're getting near the end now uh, that hasn't taken too long which is good um, so what's going to happen next is it should finish and then beep again and then we'll be presented with a dialogue where we can save all the blocks and you should see a green pulse right here to say that it's successfully verified there we go and there's your beep and then the secure erase GUI window, here we go, will open again excellent so then if you want you can save your logs to a USB stick or something like that for my purposes I'm just going to save them to the desktop and I should note this is um, these are temporary files so when you reboot if you save stuff to the desktop it will disappear okay you hear the disk spinning up again oh oops yep that's the mount thing okay so it's saved we'll hit ok and we are all done and all the logs have appeared on the desktop I hope this video has been helpful for you, and see you soon.